Hello everybody, welcome back to A Tale of Spiceless. I know it's been a very long time since I have posted a video, almost I think 9 months or 10 months now. So my comeback video is going to be a very simple sauce or a spread. It is called a pesto sauce. It's an Italian based sauce and it's made with fresh basil and pine nuts originally but I'm not using pine nuts, I'm going to be using walnuts. So these are homegrown uh, basil leaves. So I have this, uh, almost two cups of basil leaves and I have washed them and uh, dried them a little. And I have quarter cup of walnuts, good source of uh, fats and a little bit of garlic. This is optional if you don't like garlic flavor, you can omit it, but it really tastes good with garlic. A little bit of pepper, black pepper. Then you would need your regular salt, uh, lemon juice and oil. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put my garlic, my pepper and my walnuts in and I'm going to give it a quick pulse in the blender. Once the walnuts and the onion, garlic are blended in, I'm going to put in the basil leaves. We're going to add some two tablespoons of oil to it. You can use extra virgin olive oil. It tastes really good with that. So this is one tablespoon and this is two tablespoons. You need two tablespoons of lemon juice reason is that you know it gives the tangy taste and also it helps you to retain the bright green color of the basil leaves. So now to this I'm going to add salt, salt to taste and we're going to give it a quick blend in the blender now. So when you blend it, it becomes like this nice creamy smooth paste. It really smells good. I wish you were here to smell it. I'm just going to take it out into a bowl. So once I take it out into my bowl, just put drizzle of a little bit of olive oil, half a tablespoon of olive oil. This is so that you know it gives a nice sheen to it and also it doesn't form the brown layer, the oxidized layer on top. So you can use this as a spread for your bread, you can use this as a sauce for your pasta, you can make a vegetable stir fry with this. So it's multi-purpose and it stays in the refrigerator for almost a week. So I'm just going to take a nice dollop of it and spread it out to my bread, slice and voila, there you have it. A nice pesto sauce or a spread for your bread, your pasta and for your uh, stir fry vegetables. I hope you enjoy this and uh, we'll keep the videos coming soon. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.